trailers like there seems to be like a, a torrent of trails that have premiered um i saw the new beetlejuice trailer that was great uh the new bad boys trailer which also looks great um but one trailer specifically was recommended by my sister and she told me to watch the wild robot trailer and needless to say when i was done watching the trailer i was getting a little misty and i was like why am i getting misty right um apparently this movie um this animation done by dreamworks is inspired by a collection of books by peter brown um called the wild robot um tells a story of a robot named ross who wakes up on a, a shipwrecked uh, on on an island um there's no contact with humanity um it's just a robot on an island with a plethora of like animals and, and fauna and flora uh at, at w within reach and basically the robot ross uh they have to learn how to adapt to that new world. So before I had no idea like what the movie about. What I loved about this specific trailer is other than the last couple lines at the end of the trailer, which were great, um, there's like no dialogue. It's just straight music, it's straight atmosphere, um, it's straight artistry at work. And the art style lends itself. I don't know if you play the game like Sifu. It has that type of like almost watercolor animation style to it. It also reminded me, of course, of the critically acclaimed uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Across the Spider-Verse uh, films. And um, I like that. I like that new animators, new director or directors are taking that style and it pushing it forward. Um, and we're kind of moving away from the traditional Pixar style, house style of how animation has traditionally been made from the mid to late 90s up until where we are now it seems to be where we're kind of pushing the envelope a little bit um with the animation and art style which i love but what really intrigued me about the trailer was like there was no dialogue everything was told through the imagery and i'm there with Roz the robot as they try to you know navigate their world uh, a world without humans. I I I would assume I haven't read the book. Um, a world without humans. Um, and they're just straight, you know, coexisting with animals. And it almost gave me vibes of almost like Big Hero Six, like the design of the robot. Um, but more specifically, it reminded me the most of Iron Giant. And I don't know if any of like, any of you guys could remember that film. Um, which is a classic. Like the Iron Giant is like one of the best films, animation or otherwise, um, that I've ever seen. And um I'm I'm hoping it has that same vibe. I'm hoping it has that same pull from the trailer that I've seen, it I I, ha I have it immediately. I was just trying to figure out like why am I getting like emotional? Is it because of the song? Is it because of like, you know, the connection to animals? Because I love animals. I mean, I have a Big old fat furry Maine Coon cat named Beef, and and I love him to death. Um, but it was when the when Ross the robot was found an egg, and that egg nurtured nurtured that egg into you know a little a little gosling, I guess. And you know raising that gosling, and you're you're literally literally seeing the story in the trailer. And I got on this on the crow where they basically show so much, <laughs> and I kind of had an idea like what the movie is. So yes. It's hypocritical for me to say, but um, this trailer did show a lot. Um, but I'm, I'm still, I still have questions of like, where is this going to go? Because I saw like a te technological area or neighborhood or facility in it. So I, I have not read the book. I have no idea where it's going to go. So I still have more questions um, than answers um, while watching this trailer. But um, raising this gosling up into it's a full grown, I guess, goose, duckling. And, uh, you know, it shows towards the end um, of the creature that, that Ross, you know, reared grown up. It's, it's mature and it's flying away. And um, had some really great words at the end. It's like, sometimes to survive, you have to be more than what you were programmed for. You have to be more than what you were made to do. 
And I don't know what Rob's was made to do. I don't know if this creature was created to kill, wipe out all of humanity, or it was there to, you know, geoform the planet again after, you know, what humanity had done to it. I have no, I have no idea. Um, but that scene of watching that growth period, um, it, it hit me for some reason. And the, everything in that film kind of like, everything in the trailer kind of hit me for some reason. And I think um, out of all the trailers seen, I, I've seen the, the Beetlejuice, I've seen the Alien, Romulus, all of them look great. Um, but none of them hit me. And I'm, I'm getting emotional now. Um, none of them hit me as hard as, um, as this trailer. And I'm trying to think of like, like why. And I think it's more of, <laughs> I'm an old guy. And you know things that did not affect me when I was younger, um, or things that I have. Um, sorry, I'll probably cut this. Things that did not affect me when I was younger, because I kind of like I pushed those like emotions down. Um, and I've always loved animation. I've always loved <clears throat> watching art move. You know. Um, I come from a household of creative artists, whether they're creative writers, um, creative draftsmen. My father, he was a carpenter. Um, he's a terrific artist. He just never pushed himself to showcase his art. Um, but he passed down those skills to my sister, and she's, she's carrying it forward. Um, if you see my banner on my channel, she did it. She did all the artwork for it. Um, she she writes. She does everything. Um, and I I just love animation. I love how it makes you feel. It's immediate. And the same goes for like film and 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 video games too. Like they're they're a, a collection of mediums um, together. But I I I, I was I was. I was trying to figure it out and I figured out that you can tell a great story. It doesn't matter what type of story that you're telling, but if you're able to convey it without words, if you're able to convey emotion without dialogue, if you're able to convey it with like a look or how you set the scene, um, it's immediate, it's universal. And I have not read the books, like I said, numerous times, but I immediately was connected. I was immediately engaged in the story and it struck a chord. You know, I love animals. Um, I, I looking at that gosling made me think of, you know, a dumb cat <laughs> and I'll probably show pictures of him. Um, and not to get like, I've already been too emotional, but, um, there are times when my mind like wanders to dark spaces where eventually like one day he's not going to be here. And, um, I don't know if, if you have a cat or uh, any animal and maybe you've been through this and I, and I, I'm sorry that you've been through it, but it's a part of life. You know, you're born, you live, you grow and you pass on. And one of the things that it's hard for me to kind of reconcile now is that he will have, he will have to move on. And I think along with that trailer, I kind of like drifted towards thinking of those things. And um, I, I wasn't expecting it. Like this trailer has been on YouTube for about a good couple of weeks. And um, it obviously struck a chord. Like it has like, you know, over 11 million views. So, and it's done by Chris Sanders. And I don't know if you guys know about Chris Sanders. He has done some of the best animation at Disney. Um Aladdin, Lion King was production designer on Lion King. I love Lilo and Stitch. I love the look of Lilo and Stitch. Um the story about it, about you know being family and you know alien coming from outer space and being a part of the family and then getting into hijinks. I love that story. And seeing this trailer did remind me of a Disney esque quality akin to a Lilo and Stitch or akin to you know like a Lion King. Um, before I close, 
I don't know if you guys remember, um, there was a trailer, I think it was before Big Hero 6, maybe, or maybe it was another, another movie. Um, it was about a, it was called Paper Man, I think. And it was telling the story of how a guy, he works in a drab office building, you know, doing documents, stamping them, passing them on. His life is just boring. And then he looks out in the window and he sees this beautiful woman on the other side. And he decides to want to get the, you know, get the courage to like ask her out or get her attention, basically. So he builds, you know, a paper airplane and he's, he, he actually, I think he wrote like, I love you or something like that. He wrote a message about how he felt about her. And he, I may be misremembering, but he basically made a paper airplane, um, picked it up and then launched it out the window. And basically the building's like right across from his. It's like in New York. It's one of those high rise buildings. And he takes the airplane, he throws it out the window and it, the airplane just goes down and it shows multiple takes of him just attempting to get her attention by throwing that paper airplane her way. And he get, he's, he has like, okay, I don't have any more paper. My boss is seeing what I'm doing and he's going to fire me. Um, so I got one last chance and I'm going to put everything that I have, you know, all my hopes and dreams and just one last shot. And what's great about this is there's no dialogue. It's just straight music. It's just straight images. Um, but it's so powerful, so potent. He takes this last airplane and he throws it. And it doesn't look like it's going. And then all of a sudden, it just lands like on the on the windowsill. And then it falls to the ground. He's like, no, no, no. But the girl, she gets up and walks somewhere. And for some, there's the magic of love or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the airplane comes back to life and it follows her, follows her. And... I believe the guy, he's, he's, he, he gives up. He didn't realize that it came back to life. He didn't realize that the paper airplane came back to life. So he's walking down. He's, you know, you know, depressed or whatever. He's walking, going home or whatever. And the airplane circles around him. And the woman, she's walking down to catch a bus almost at the same time. So it's like the airplane is trying to get them together. And it's circling him. He's trying to swat it, get out of the way, try to catch it. And it's kind of leading him on. And long story short, the airplane leads them together. Um, and they're waiting for a train together. And I think the airplane lands either in her hand or he catches it or lands on the ground. She picks it up. And then they begin talking to one another. And it's great. It's like one of the most beautiful things like Disney has done in a long time. And, and to this day, I haven't really seen <laughs> anything that really capture that level of quality um, in a story yet um it's not saying that it could never happen but that's what this trailer made me feel um so yeah sorry for all the mushiness and and stuff like that uh i, I just wanted to say that i really appreciate this trailer i really appreciate peter brown um and what they've done and crafted and the story that they crafted i really appreciate uh chris sanders and all the talent like mark hamill uh pedro pascal lupita nyango their voices stephanie sue their voices in this. And I love all of them. Bill Nye. I love, I love every single actor. Catherine O'Hare. She's, she's also on it too. Um, I love all the talent that's behind this film. That's a part of this film. And I definitely will be there to see it when it comes out. I know it's a children's based on a children's book. Yes. Um, but there's nothing wrong with identifying or finding some type of meaning or value. And a story may be created for children, but still strikes a chord with adults. I mean, that's how Disney was built. That's how a lot of these animation houses were built. Where they were created by adults. <laughs> they may be targeted to kids, but they're created by adults to reach either both 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 age groups. So that 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 argument is is bullshit. But not nevertheless, um, I love this trailer. I will be there to see this film, and I hope you guys will too. If you like animation if you like well done stories if you like chris sanders and the work that he's done his team has done um definitely check it out all right that's all i got uh if you liked <laughs> this video feel free to give it a, a like subscribe and i really appreciate it all right have a job